Hi, Linton here, and this is Sketch and Tell. As you know, I really like dolphins. I do tell a story or two about them, and the way that they reach out and help people who are struggling in the, in the ocean. It's also a way of me thinking about how God is on our side helping us. But for today, I'd like to do a little art workshop for those of you who would like to have a go at drawing a dolphin. So if you want to pause here and get some art materials, some paper, some uh, oil pastels, crayons, or some colouring in pencils. I'm going to show you some things which, whether you're drawing a dolphin with me or whether you want to do something of your own later on, I'm going to give you some tips. The first tip is I begin with a shape, or a couple of shapes. And when I think about a dolphin, I'm thinking, of a piece of fruit that is shaped like the dolphin's body. If you take away the fins and the tail and the nose, what is the shape of the dolphin? Well, it's like a banana. So I'm going to begin with a shape in the middle of my page, which is that curvy top part of the banana, or in this case, the dolphin. Now, to draw the rest of the dolphin, we're going to join this end with this end, and this is the tricky bit. But again, think of the banana, we're going to come around and we're going to come up in a, uh, an arch and join it at the tail. So we come around like this and we bring it up and we join it at the end. We come around, up and join it at the end. So actually it's almost like a teardrop on the side. And if you want to look at your eyes in a mirror, it's the shape of your eye. Not your eyeball, but the, the outer part of the eye. We call it an almond shape. But it's like a banana here. We've squished it at one end. Now let me just say, if you've just drawn your dolphin shape and you're looking at it and you're thinking, ah, this looks like my dolphin has had too much for breakfast. Doesn't look like how it should be. I'm going to rub it out or scrunch the paper up and start again, please don't do that. Art is to be fun. And it doesn't matter if you don't get it looking exactly the same. I'm always making mistakes when I do my paintings. I learn from them. I have a little bit of fun with them. I'm learning to laugh at myself and not be so serious about it. So, keep working with what you've got. Now let's put the bits and pieces back on. And again, I'm thinking of shapes and I'm thinking of nacho chips, which is like a triangle shape. So on the top of our dolphin, we'll put a nacho chip like that. That's the top dorsal fin, the top fin. Underneath, we're going to do another nacho chip, but upside down. And we'll curve it back like that. And that's the pectoral fin, or the flipper, a nacho chip shape. And the tail. Now the tail is, it's flat. So we're only going to look at it side on. But the way I do this is I put a line out there and a line out there. And then we're going to join those two lines up with the letter V inside. So we do the letter V like that. And that's the dolphin's tail. Then we come up to the other end. And this is where they, we call it their nose. is a sit. It's actually the snout. But we'll call it a nose. But they don't breathe through their nose, they breathe through a little hole up here, like a whale. But let's put on the snout and we'll put out a, a shape like this. I'm not sure what to call it actually, a thingy jig, a doozy what, a honker, whatever you call it, just plonk it out the front. And then because dolphins always look happy. We're going to split this shape with a smile. So we'll do a smile like that, and bring it further back into the body of the dolphin. And then just above, we'll put an eye. And that's the shape. And now it's about having fun. And this is where I want you to choose at least three colors. It could be any three. I'm actually going for blues and greens, but you can go for reds and oranges, so yellows, purples. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to put colour around the dolphin and block it in. This is going to be for the water. 
But more importantly, I want you to watch how I put the colour on. Now I'm using the side of my pastel. If you're using a pastel, take the wrapper off and use the side of it. If you're using pencils, it's a little bit more of a different uh, You might want to use a whole lot of dashes uh, or strokes to fill in around. But if you can, try and create what we call movement in the water. The flowing of the water around the dolphin makes it look more interesting than if you just put it on flat. But let's put the colour on. That's my first colour. Let's go for another one. And again, I'm mixing colours on top of each other and always using that flowing motion. And I'll go for one more. We'll go for a lighter colour up here. In fact, we might make it even lighter. And then, as we're doing this, I'm now starting to think about the colour of the dolphin. Now, I know that the dolphin, when you see it in the water, is usually a fairly dark grey, bluey grey colour. But does that mean we have to always paint our dolphins bluey grey? You can if you want to. But again, I like to have fun. I'm actually going to choose a purple colour. So whatever colour you use, whether it's purple, whether it's grey, whether it's uh, green, whether it's yellow, orange, just start to colour in your dolphin with that colour. Don't forget to colour in the, the fins and the tail. But leave a little bit of the tummy because we're going to use another colour for the underneath of the dolphin. Do the top of the nose. The dolphin has a white tummy. Now, I'm not going to use white. I'm actually going to use a very light pink. But whatever colour you use, whether it's white or pink or cream, just make sure it's a little bit lighter than the colour you have put on the top. Now once you've done that, we're now thinking of light and shade. If you were a dolphin swimming in the ocean and the sunlight is coming down through the water, it would be kind of coming down through the water like this. So we're going to need to put a little bit of what we call highlight on top of the dolphin. And I'm going to use a very light pink. You might like to use yellow or bright orange or pink. And we just put it along the top edge of the dolphin. And that is to be a reminder that there's light in the painting because light is what makes our paintings come alive. So we have a little bit on top, we put a little bit on top of the nose, a little bit here in front of that fin, a little bit over here. But where there's light, on the opposite side of the object, which is the dolphin, it's going, it's going to be darker. So I'm going to use some dark uh, brown. You might like to use dark purple or something darker. And just put a little bit of that darker colour underneath the dolphin. And I'll put a little bit here. Not too much. But that's really just so we have the light on the top and the shade underneath or the darkness underneath. And then we've got two colours left. First of all, I'm going to use a little bit of, it's a very dark purple, but it looks black. You can use black if you want to, or dark brown. I'm going to sharpen up some of the edges and go over some of the original shape of the dolphin just to make it stand out from all the colours in the water. So I put a little bit behind each of the fins just to sharpen it up. I'll put a little bit here and a bit there. I'll put just a little bit underneath the dolphin and I'm going to redo the mouth, put that in, put that smile in and uh, put the eye in like that. And then the final colour is a little bit of white. And I'm going to, again, just go over the edge where the light is. And again, it's a way of focusing the dolphin, sharpening our focus, 
helping it stand out. I put a little bit down the back of the dolphin, a little bit there, a little bit on the this side of the fin, and a little bit in the eye like that. And then, just to finish off, I'm putting some swooshes in the water to just give us a little bit of sense of action. But the dolphin is swimming very, very fast. Don't forget to sign your painting. Let's put our name or signature down the bottom. It's always good to own what you do. If you want to, you can give this to someone that you care about as a little gift. You can put it up in your room or maybe you'd like to take a picture of it and show it online to your friends. Thank you very much.